That's right. This teacher is actually accused of setting two fires out here on the campus on Friday. But some of the students we spoke with tonight say they really don't think he had any bad intentions. Students show us a GoFundMe account called Free Homeboy Rich. It was jokingly created for a beloved teacher placed behind bars. Parents say this photo was taken inside of a classroom Friday at Redlands East Valley High School as 59 year old science teacher Timothy Ridgeway was lighting a hall pass on fire. The first of two fires he's accused of setting in a building with 300 students inside. There was a burn on the wall, but you know, we didn't think it was going to be super like high. This is one of Mr. Ridgeway's students. She says he didn't say a thing when he lit the hall pass on fire, just tossed the torch paper on his desk and calmly walked out. A couple minutes later, she smelled smoke. We hear the smoke alarm go off and he comes back in. He tells us that it's not a big deal. We don't have to evacuate or anything. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department says Ridgeway intentionally lit a poster on fire just outside the door. They arrested him and charged him with arson. We're all like asking him to go. We're all cheering him on that he eventually agreed. Students say the poster Mr. Ridgeway burned was for homecoming, that a spirit squad burst into his room just before and invited him to the homecoming game. Now some wonder if that could have upset him. I don't think he did out of like anger or anything. I think it was a joke that just got out of hand. Yeah, he likes to joke around a lot. He's a good guy. The Redlands Unified School District said in writing, this incident had no direct correlation to the instructional program and compromised the safety of our students. School staff, administration, and the school resource officer worked together to extinguish the fire. Thankfully, no students were injured. Ridgeway's bail was set at $250,000, and he's scheduled to appear in court tomorrow. Reporting live, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.